Ciao a tutti i lettori di Bettes.it, mi trovo in un hangar a Santa Monica, oggi intervisteremo Christopher Nolan e i protagonisti di Dunkirk, ieri ho visto il film in IMAX qui a Los Angeles e posso dirvi che è davvero straordinario, se riuscite vedetelo in IMAX in 70 mm in pellicola quando uscirà a fine agosto. Come se l'esperienza IMAX non mi fosse bastata ieri sera per immergermi completamente nella storia di Dunkirk, prima di intervistare Christopher Nolan, qui in questo enorme hangar di Santa Monica mi stanno per, fare, per far fare un'esperienza in VR, eh, provare a volare come, come avrebbe volato un soldato durante la seconda guerra mondiale e durante il salvataggio di Dunkirk. So, Mr. Nolan, I'm proud to say that my website has a partnership with the only uh, movie theater in Italy that will show the movie in 70 millimeters. Oh. And so, why it's so important to, uh, for you, uh, uh, for the audience, to see the movie this way? We shot the entire film on large format film. 65 millimeter IMAX and 65 millimeter Viper. Um, and so, our 70 mil film prints that are going out there, they retain the sharpness of image and the analog color, the depth of, of the imagery, that really helps give you the emotional experience of being there. Um, everything we've done in making this film is about subjectivity. It's about putting the audience into the cockpit of a Spitfire, dogfighting you know, above Dunkirk, or running along the beach with the, with the troops there, or, or being on a boat coming across the channel to try and help out. And the 70 millimeter version of the film is the one that is the most immersive and gives you the the most emotional relationship, the tactile quality of the film really lets you know what it would have felt like to be there. Yeah. Um, we know that you visited Dunkirk by boat in the 90s mm. and you also flew on the Spitfires uh, during, during making research for the movie, so yes. how important is it for you to immerse uh, um, in, in these kind of things uh, while doing a movie like this? Uh? Well, I, I'm very interested in what I would term a cinema of experience. I like films that have an authenticity. They have a feeling of being there, a feeling of, of interacting with reality, of creating a reality for the audience. And so for me, it's very useful to be able to actually go out on the water or in the channel and know what that would feel like. Uh, it's very useful to, to fly in a Spitfire, other than just being a lot of fun. It's very useful to actually be able to do that. And then I had my director of photography do it and my designer do it so that we could start to talk about how do you, how do you make that real for the audience? Uh, someone uh, may think that using film is uh, some kind of old style filmmaking, mm -hmm. but I think you are a, an innovator and especially when we talk about filming techniques. Uh, mm. So which kind of innovations did you do for this movie? I think this is the most experimental narrative that, that I've done since Memento, probably. Uh, the rhythm of this film is unique. It's unlike any other film that I've made or, or I think that I've seen. It's, it's really about trying to create a very present tense narrative, a feeling of tumbling forward, a, a snowballing of, of narrative effect that is entirely based on a language of suspense. And this is why the script is very short. It was about half the length of my usual scripts, and the film is lean and stripped down and tries to sustain suspense for as long as it can without exhausting the audience too much. Okay. My last question is about um, the fact that we know they are remastering your old movies uh, mm -hmm. uh, in 4K yeah. for home video. So are you involved in this remastering? Uh, and oh, yeah. what do you think about the 4K technology? Well, the wonderful thing about 4K technology uh, is it gets closer to the resolution that we shot the films on. Uh, photochemically finished films on 35 millimeter have at least 6K resolution. Uh, IMAX films upwards of 18K. And so as home video formats keep evolving, 4K, particularly 4K with HDR, it allows us to give uh, somebody in the home an experience that's much, much closer to what it was like to see the original film prints as projected on film. And I think uh, that's a very exciting prospect. And it's a long and complicated process that we're doing right now, but I think the results I'm seeing are, are very pleasing and very spectacular. And are you involved in this? Oh yes, very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks.